This video will show you how easy it is to add a Tasker plugin to your existing app. In this example, I have created a brand new app with nothing with nothing else but this layout with two buttons that I'll use later in the video. And here I want to add a Tasker plugin, so I go to this page and follow the simple procedure. First, add this to my Gradle build, Gradle build. And after that's done syncing, I can use I can uh, I have to use this permission as well in my manifest. So add it here. And now to to add a quick tasker action, to do uh, copy this and paste it into your manifest as well. And then simply copy this code into a new file in your, in your project. And that's all it takes. You now have a brand new task reaction that you can use in any of your tasks. So this example simply shows a toast with a text basic. So this is the app. If I now open Tasker, and then add a new task called my app task for example and I add a new action from plugin my application and configure it this is the simple uh, example it'll only show, show a toast show, uh, saying basic so let's test it out there you go you added a task action in like one minute now let's add an event. Events are what hap are what trigger a profile so that tasks are run. So for example, let's add a very simple event that uh, triggers when I press that that button on my app, this one. To do that, I'll add this new activity to my manifest and then simply add this code as a new file and then I'll use this function to trigger the event. So in my main activity I can use the button trigger event and then use this trigger basic tasker event function to just trigger it. Now I'll deploy it to my phone and now if I go back to tasker there should there should be a new event available in the list here. Plugin, my application will trigger this app's task event. Okay, and now in the task I can do anything I want. Like for example, use a flash action saying event trigger. And now, if I click that button on my application event triggered. This was shown by Tasker after triggering the event in this app. And finally I can also implement a state so that I can use it in Tasker. To do that the state can be added with this activity just add it in a manifest as well and then use this code here and then simply call this function to toggle the state on and off. So for example, I can use this button here, toggle state, and then toggle basic state. This will simply make the state active and inactive when I click the button. So if I deploy this to my phone again, And go back to Tasker. I now should have a new state here under plugin, my application, and we'll toggle between being activated and deactivated. So in the entry task, I'll add an, a flash showing activated. And then in the exit task that runs when the 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 state is no longer active 
I'll simply flash deactivate it and now if I go back to my app and click this button here activate it deactivate it so the profile is toggling correctly while it's activated you can go to tasker and see that the condition is active by being the screen the color here so there you go you can now take this code edit it however you like go through this uh, the rest of this the tutorial here that shows you how you how to use for example send variables to the user let the user input some stuff so the stuff can trigger in different conditions and actions can have different inputs and so on and but this is the basic stuff you need if you really want just want to run a basic action or event or state in tasker you can do it like this hope you enjoyed it bye